Hey everyone, I'm Isaiah Prather, and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to spice up your chorus with two easy steps. So as you guys can tell, what we're doing here is we're adding some post-production effects into your track that's gonna help make that part separate itself from the part before it. This is huge when you're trying to add emphasis to a new section or just liven up a part that doesn't quite feel like it has the impact that you're looking for. Now, before we get into this, if you're looking for some of these samples yourselves, we've made a free sample pack that you can go download on our website. Go check that out if you wanna follow along. You're gonna wanna find a part that's gonna be starting on a new part of the song or something that you really wanna emphasize the downbeat of. And we're gonna find that down be, and that's where we're going to place our first samples. So for this section, we're going to really base a lot of what we're doing off that first kick drum that's starting off the chorus in that long chord. And we're going to look for one of the explosions that we have. So we'll pull out one of the explosions that I like, and we're going to put it on that downbeat where that kick is. After that, what you're gonna wanna do is you're going to wanna shorten it down to the part that you need. And I kind of feel like this is probably gonna be about the right length for me. I'm gonna pull this down in volume. So pretty cool, it's a little loud. Now the next thing you're gonna wanna do is because I think that sounds like it's a little too sudden and doesn't really drive the part in, it just kind of feels like a gunshot right now. You're gonna wanna add in another one, just copy and paste, it is fine. And then I'm gonna convert this to a real copy. It's gonna allow me to put effects on this one and processes without having it affect the original sample. And all I'm gonna do is reverse this one. And all I'm gonna do is pull off a little bit of this transient here, just because I feel like when you have the full transient of the impact reversing into itself, sometimes it doubles up on itself and starts to feel like you almost have two transients happening. So I just like to cut that off and have one lead into the main one. And then all I'm gonna do is line this up with the main section here. And then here's how that sounds. So as you can tell, that helps transition that part a ton, and it only took a couple seconds. And then the last part we're gonna wanna add on here is a sub drop. In that free pack that we talked about earlier, we included a sub drop for you guys, but if you guys do end up checking out our full post-production pack, we've already pitched all the sub drops in multiple lengths for you guys, so you don't ever have to worry about doing any of that. So I'm gonna grab a sub drop in the key of this song, which is F sharp, and I'm gonna grab it in the high octave because I like my sub drops a little more punchy. And I'm just gonna bring it on, and we're gonna take it right to this downbeat and at that point it's lined up and it should already have its fade so you don't need to worry about that we tried to make sure that these are as easy to use as possible and for me i do like having a little bit of distortion on my sub drops so i have this the tube just putting a little bit of drive on that and all that's going to be doing is adding some harmonics i'll show you the difference between what that's doing And all that's gonna be doing for us in the mix is giving it a little bit more harmonic so that you can hear it on smaller speakers and that it just helps push a little bit further forward in the mix instead of just being sub. And the last little thing I have going on is I'm just sending this sub drop to the bass DI just so I can bring down the bass while this sub comes in and just clears up the mix a little bit. If you guys would like a video on mixing sub drops, let us know. And now that we've added all that in, here's the final sound. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it helped. If you guys have any questions about the process, drop them down in the comments below. Be sure to check out our Metal Essentials post-production pack. It has over 300 samples in a bunch of different categories that are gonna help you guys bring some new life to your music. Happy songwriting.